guys what is going on it is obadiah and today we are back on the center um i will be doing scorch earth stuff soon i promise i just want to get set up here first but uh so i worked a little bit on the castle <laughs> where you guys left it last time most of the walls were up and whatnot but i've done a lot more stuff to it yesterday um so check it out and there it is, and it's mostly done. I mean, there's still a lot of little details need to be added. I need to add lighting, I need to add uh, run electricity, weirdly enough, in a castle. Um, I gotta, you know, get turrets set up, and I, in this room, which is the big empty room, I need to put some kind of throne area. I've got little, like, jails set up here, and I've sectioned this side into, like, a hallway. Both sides are the same, and then two rooms here, one and two. On this side, I think I'm gonna put a forge area, blacksmith area, and then a kitchen. And if you go up the spiral staircase, it leads you to the top, where we've got a whole nother level out here. And in he out here, I'm not really sure what to do. I might do the spawn area here with all the beds, make kind of a uh, living quarters type thing. That's also just where we can spawn and where we can test out all the aesthetic pieces that we never really play with, because there's no point. Uh, we can throw all those up there. And then on the other side, if I can get over there, uh, 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 which is a, a mirror image of this, this side, but here we'll do maybe a crafting room and then a storage room. Um, but I figured today, because we have this thing mostly built up, it's time that we can actually start moving everything in here instead of just living in the little tiny box that we do right now. Uh, Cause right now, as you know, we just have a couple things shoved in here. And plus, there's so many more crafting stations we need to build. There's fabricators and generators and all sorts of stuff. And living in a tiny box isn't going to cut it anymore. I'm still not high enough level to build some of it. I'm only level 74. Um, 85, I believe, is when I can build... Let's check. The forge? I know the chemistry table is 85. And so is the forge. So 85 is kind of the level we want to shoot for. Um, but today I thought we'd go ahead and move stuff in. So I'm going to go ahead and craft some stuff up, some fabricators, and go through all of our ingrams and mods to see what kind of other crafting stations we need and get stuff built up. And uh, then I'll bring you guys back. All right, so for some of the things we need to build, we actually need uh, oil and cementing paste, which I have not actually done a whole lot of with either. I've gotten no oil. And, oh crap, we're hungry. Um, let's find some quick berries. So, we haven't really done anything with oil yet, and with uh, cementing paste, we only got a few. So, what we're going to do is run over to the iceberg here and grab some oil, and then go over to some lakes and hit up some beaver dams, I think. Uh, we're going to have to be quick, though, because my fortitude is not yet high enough to handle this cold, and I will die. So, um, let's see what we got. I believe the pick... Is it the pick is the best thing to get oil? I'm not exactly sure how much we need. Um, so I'm gonna grab a few hundred, I guess. All right, we've got all the oil nodes that I saw. I didn't get as much as I would like, but we have 400, which isn't too bad. Um, though more would definitely be better. So now we gotta go find uh, some beaver dams and get ourselves some cementing paste, and I am going the wrong direction. Um, I think one of the best places to get it, one of the closest at least, is going to be in the, uh, what you call it, in the floating island. Uh, the lake in the middle of the floating island has usually a few beaver dams, but it's kind of a dangerous area, but then again, anywhere you get beaver dams is a little dangerous, because those beavers hit hard. So uh, let's fly over there and see what we can find. All right, I've spotted a couple beaver dams. One is right in the middle of the water right there one is over here with these allosauruses which is fantastic let's see if there's any more down the way don't go in the water <laughs> usually there's one or two along this river but i'm not seeing any today i wonder if someone else already snagged them or if they changed something i don't know uh but we're here so we're gonna get them okay Ooh, the allosaurus has moved away the beaver dam's not destroyed. That's good. Okay. So let's be quick and let's grab it. And then run. Let's just take all. And then ooh, get our bird. Okay, let's see if we can lead these beavers away enough that we can get into the... Into the one in the water. Only a couple beavers are given chase. Come on. 
So if we can get them far enough away before they de-aggro, we should be all right. Hopefully. Ugh. A little too close there. A little too close for comfort. All right, that should be good. Let's see if we can fly over to the other side now. Oh, scorpions. And uh, those allosauruses make me real nervous too. Ooh, this is gonna be a really dangerous one. Oh wait, are they coming over here? Please don't come over here. No, 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 no. All right, where's that beaver dam? Ooh, there's two. Okay, we can at least get this close one. We're gonna have to move really fast because those beavers are gonna come and just demolish us. Take all and run away. We can do it. <laughs> oh, this is taking too long. Come on, get on the bird. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and drop the wood. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fly. I don't think we're gonna be able to get that one in the middle, so I'm just gonna fly, try to fly to another lake and see what we can get. All right, so I took oil back to base. I went over to Batman Island to get some uh, obsidian. But now, now I'm gonna try to go and get some pearls because we need some electronics. Now I have not planned ahead at all. So I did not bump my oxygen stat at all. So I swim pretty slow. And since the only flyer I still have is this Terra, um, I don't have a lot of things I can bring with me to like, couldn't like carry my wolf over to fight in the water. And it is becoming nighttime, which is so awesome. Are we Gamma 4 already? Dang it. But pearls seem to be most easy to get early on here. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's the prana. I knew prana were to come. That's what I was waiting for. Hey, bud. Oh, that's a max level 360 prana. Get out of here. Let's see if we can kill this sucker. Maybe we'll draw its friends and we can try to kill as many as we can before we go diving. All right, we've killed a couple piranha and I think it's time to just go for it and hope for the best. Uh, those are the saber tooth salmon, which shouldn't be too much trouble. My oxygen, I really don't feel like is gonna cut it. And we need kind of a lot of pearls. So I don't know if this is gonna work out. Might have to go find somewhere else. There's some areas I know like in the lava or the lava, the uh, volcano area where there is some pretty shallow water. See any prana chasing us? No, it's actually not bad. Now it's just trying to make it so we don't drown and we should be all right. Ooh. Okay, get some air and go over this way and just dive straight down and go ah! <laughs> get all the pearls we need See? yeah we really need to boost our oxygen set i think the next few levels are going to put in oxygen until we get at least a 200 um because i think what is it three pearls per electronic and we need like a lot of electronics we need at least four or five hundred um so we need quite a few pearls still nothing chasing us all right this is uh, uh oh, we're in a battle. All right, we're running away. Get back to our guy. I don't see any, I don't, didn't take any damage. I don't see anything attacking us. Oh, there we go. Come on. If it's just the one piranha, it seems to be killing us very slowly. So I think we're gonna be okay. I don't even wanna turn around and look. I just wanna get out of here. It's a good thing we're at least wearing flak. It helps. Hey bud, just you, just the one? And you're all... Oh, he just killed himself. Played yourself, bud. All right, so uh, I'll look around here a little more. I might go to Lava Island and check it out there, too. All right, we came over to the lava area. We did get some pearls. What level is this thing? 48, perfect. We did get some pearls, and we I also got some of the underwater oil nodes that were really close, which is awesome. Um, this guy is not very powerful. Okay. Can always use more chitin. So we have about 300 pearls already. I'm really nervous those Carno's gonna come over here. What level are you? 108, we could take you out if we needed to, but it would just be such a pain. Let's just keep this guy in the corner. I didn't bring any weapons or anything. Now let's see, let's see what it looks like in here. How bad, okay, there's a piranha there. But that's just that, okay, we gotta watch out for that Carno. Oh, come on, bud, right here, I'm right here. Come get me. Where are you going? Oh, oh you're, oh, you're coming to get me. Sure are. Oh, there they are. Oh, here's all the piranha. Here they come. All right, so we gotta clear these suckers out. Um, oh, 
He's like right on top of us now. Right, we're gonna have to kill this Carno. Come on. Whoa, we're a little too fast. All right, slow down. Let's just go head to head. Is he only level 108? I'm like a level, what, 300 something? Oh, there's two Carnos. I don't know the level of the other one. I think it's at 68 or 48. 348. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Get us out. Okay, so this might not be the best idea. Um, I'll go look in some safer areas and whatnot. Hopefully get some stuff together and see what I can do. All right, so we were able to gather up some more pearls and some more oil, and I hit a few more beaver dams and essentially just gathered stuff for about an hour. Um, but we gotta start placing the stuff we already have built. So I'm thinking, I was thinking, should this be the crafting room or this? No, I'm thinking this one. This feels like a crafting room to me. Um, I did make two fabricators. I made the S plus fabricator and the mini fab uh, because the mini one obviously is better for space but the portable one, or the uh, S plus one, can, I can choose gas or electric. And let's see, I think that the Portafab is just electric. Um, that's from Seven's Mini Tweaks mod. So we're gonna have to start with this one to make and use gasoline to get electronics and stuff to make the generator. Um, but let's worry about the smithy type things first. So we'll start with the regular old smithy. Can we, that's not even remotely straight, is it? Uh, it's not really a good line. Oh, I can use that line right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's go up. I don't want to go through the wall. I want to get real close to it. And then back, just like that. And then what's the next one? Two, ooh, that one, what's the next size one? This one. Oh, that one doesn't let me be close at all, does it? Oh, I can't get close to the wall? Oh, that's the worst. Okay, let's hold on to that one then. Let's do this. And this one. Okay, let's stick this, stick this sucker. Should I line it up to the edge or line it up to the wall? The edge is gonna look better, isn't it? Okay, and then we got this little guy. Oh, it's real little. And this big one. Okay, why don't we turn it, actually, and do it this way? I hate that you can't put it against the wall. Ugh, it bugs me so much. Why? Why do you do this to me? Can I stick it over here, maybe? No, because I'm going to have something else there. Ah, okay. What about this little sleepy mod one? Let's do that one next. Okay, line it up on the line. And we can stack it? That's kind of cool. So I can go sleepy time and S. I mean, kind of stupid at the same time. But. I mean, it'll save space. Okay, we're not going to do that. If we actually really need the space, we might, though. Um, and we've got. This, this, this castle is huge. We have tons of room. But I'm trying to keep it organized and things condensed. Where's the, one of the little lines? There we go. Let's go this way. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Let's line it up with the other ones. Looks pretty good, right? Is it tad? Just like that. Awesome. And then, of course, the last one, which is the huge pain in the butt one. And there's not really a way that I like it. So it's going to have to kind of be on its own. Kind of right here, I guess. All right, so now we have got our... Oh, that looks so bad out there by itself. Why? Why does it have to be like this? Maybe I'll put it like this. Yeah, that might be a little better. Okay, that's good. Let's line this sucker up. Okay, looks like we only have one option for where it can go. And... I guess we'll do like that. Definitely not ideal, doesn't look the best, but better than how it was before. At least now it looks like there's some kind of plan. Um, I do like that I can walk behind it, even though I have no reason to ever do that ever. So I'm thinking we'll put the chemistry bench over here and the fabricator here. Because right now we have to start with the big fabricator, unfortunately. But that we're gonna pick up, so it doesn't need to be perfect. 
but still, let's I mean, let's do what we can do. Okay, fabricator. And we don't have a chemistry bench yet, so for now, we're just gonna throw down some mortar and pestles. Whoa. Two. Three. And four. Should be more than enough. And, oh, we also have an ORP offline raid protection mod that we have. And that sucker, I think I'm just gonna stick right over here. Sweet. Let's look at the area. Okay, so it, does, it looks like it covers everything just fine. And what are we missing? What have we not placed yet? Get rid of all these so we can actually see. The port of fab, which we're waiting on. The refining forges and the industrial grill. So the kitchen's gonna be on this side. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the lags? So the kitchen is gonna be over here, I think. And I'm gonna put the, the forge stuff in here. I think I'm gonna put the big forge right there. Get rid of one, get rid of that door. Um, but I still like having some of the little forges too. Let's go ahead and place them over here in like this little roundabout area. Like this. One of those. One there. Yeah. And then we'll do the same thing around this little arrow hole. One there. And one there. We don't really need these. But eh, I think it looks nice. It's a nice little addition, nice little decoration. Takes up some empty space, doesn't block anything. And eh, I just kind of like it. So we'll leave that over there. And in here, I want the uh, kitchen. So I think we'll, we got... Oh, really? Whoa. The lighting just drastically changed. All we have right now is the grill. It's an S-plus grill, right? So we can pick it up and move it later. Okay. So it doesn't really matter where it goes. So can we stick it just like against this wall? Is there room there? Okay, let's line it up. Where's my little lineup lines? Uh, like that. We can go... Oh, it just barely fits there. Let's see. Is that gonna stick through? I think it's good. Okay. Yeah, I think that's just fine. Doesn't block the door at all. Maybe not the final place, but that's where we'll put it for now. So now what we need to do is make up some electronics, because I still need to make the turret bench, and that takes 200 electronics, which is stupid. And I need to make the grinder, which I can't make here. I think that's uh, the S plus grinder is made in the S plus crafting station. And that thing takes a stupid amount of materials. I don't know if we get that one done today. Um, I, oh, I did get some organic polymer, not 600 of it. And I need to make vaults and generators and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft up a little more and then I'll bring you all back. All right, guys, so we have everything set up and I went ahead and made the turret betch. Um, I have got through some beds down here that's not where they're gonna be forever but that is where they're gonna be temporarily i have got all sorts of metal uh in here i've got i eh, mean i'll get like 500 metal ingots out of each of those so that's another 2000 metal so i'm gonna need to get more metal and stuff i'm going to need to get more uh i don't even remember what else more or something how do i what do i need for the grinder oh more polymer yeah because i've got uh some polymer it needs 600 and I've got, uh, how much organic did I end up getting? 280 is what I've got. I used a few, a little bit, on the turret bench, I believe, which I also built right here. So that means the only crafting thing I'm missing is the grinder, which I really want to make. And then, of course, the stuff I can't learn yet, like the cooker and, like, the, um, what's the other one? The cooker and the forge. I still got to wait on. Um, before today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and finish those things off camera because they're going to take a little bit of time. Um, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. If you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, uh, do me a favor and uh, give me a thumbs up. Oh, I also tore down the building here, uh, which means I should be should just move this, huh? Let's pick this sucker up uh, and we'll put this over here somewhere. Um, anyways, like I was saying, if... Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do go ahead and give, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. And of course, always feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, you can also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
And uh, what's the other one? Google Plus? Oh, yeah, the one no one uses. Um, but for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. Oh, you can also hit me up on Patreon if you want. If you want to go ahead and check that out at patreon.com slash X. It's new. Uh, but anyways, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And uh, I will see you again next time.